Brand new whip, just hopped in I got options, I can pass that bitch like Stockton Just joshing, I'ma spend this holiday locked in My body got rid of them toxins Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to another episode This is episode 2 of the Spitfire Restoration So I have done a little bit more since the other day when I was doing a video As you can tell I've got the filming a bit better this time hopefully <laughs> um, So, as you can see, I've removed the bonnet on the, the front hood flip I had someone that wanted to come down and give me a lift with that, it was pretty easy. Um, so obviously now I can get into the engine bay a bit better when I've got stuff coming. I've, I've placed an order, I've got spark plugs, fuel filter, oil, oil filter coming. And the plane at the moment's gone. Also, uh, yeah, seven new plugs, so I'm going to put them in and I'm going to try and get it. I've got an old school mechanic, he's quite old, one of the old, uh, he was... Uh, a valley mechanic from Mercedes back in the day, so should be interesting. Um, so we're just going to get it fired up, make sure it's running, and then I'm on with the next stage. Then when she started disconnecting stuff from the, uh, the actual tub, that thing about the brakes, clutch, handbrake, take the pedals out, uh, steering wheel, all the electrics. Uh, I've got a Haynes manual coming as well. So the, the old manual I've got there. On the top of there, it is, it is good, it does show and list parts really well. But it doesn't really give you any guidance on how and what. So, I've got the Haynes coming. I'm all right with spanners, but I ain't no, uh, I ain't no mechanic, you know, I'm a shopkeeper, <laughs> but I'm doing my best. So, uh, let me just uh, spin you around, guys, one second. Right, so maybe this is a better angle for you to see. So, obviously, like I said, the uh, the bonnet's off. If you've not looked around this properly, and you can see you've got a little oil cooler on front. This is a thermostatic uh, Kenlo uh, thermostatic controlled electric fan. Popped in a bit more power, I believe. Uh, tired looking ram air filter. But I'm sure I can sort that out. Um, so, yeah, the next stage will be. You know things like this to be coming off um i'm not sure if i have to be removing these or not this is what i need the manual for really so i could disconnect my electronic points uh, obviously the ground there this will need I'm not sure does that stay on this is what i need to know you see i'm not sure what engine i know i've got to take certain things off so this will be removed um just trying to know, I think, really. So, I'm still trying to locate these rear um, chassis tub frame mounts. I believe this uh, speaker panel here that's been put in, I need to get that out. Uh, take these screws out so I can remove this plastic windbreaker thing. Uh, one of the screws over there in the corner is actually, it, it, it's been put in a mess, so it needs to be taken out. I've got some screw extractors to do that with my drill today. Hopefully get this speaker panel out as well and then I should be able to locate these um, the last couple of chassis bolts um, let, me, let, me, uh, let me let me torch so, yeah guys uh, let me uh, put it this way so can you see that all right a bit of focus on it okay so these no problems i know where they are i've located these not too sure about these two ones here yet and these are the ones that i'm trying to find now which i think are behind that panel in there what i showed you because in the boot with the fuel tank out they're nowhere to be seen you know uh that's how it is at the moment. So once I've located these, I've got a couple of old school mechanics I could talk to, but this is why I got the Haynes manual. It should it should direct me through properly. So my next mission now is I'm going to, I still need to, crawl space is a bit limited underneath, so I could do with taking the axle stands up a bit higher, move them up so I can uh, have a bit more crawl space underneath. And like I said, it's just waiting for parts now, so um, the point to be taking out all the wiring and things when I want to try and get it running. I could be taking out these chassis bolts though and uh, get, get that ready, so that's why I'm trying to locate everything to get it to the point where I can remove it. But I can still run it. 
I could drop the oil out, but I'm just waiting for things to turn up now. So there's other jobs I can be doing. I've got my petrol tank to clean out. That's got some sludge and crap in the bottom, so that wants a good swell out and drying out. So I'll be doing that today. I have the boot lid off as well, so I'm going to be taking off, popping off all the badges, uh, the door handle and stuff, making sure it's ready for, um, making sure it's ready for the next stage, which would be rust rust treating and getting it treated and ready. Um, and you know, I could be setting into some of this tub as well with some rust treatments on as well, just converting it. I don't know, I don't know how easy it is to get back off though when you come down to doing the body work, but you know, I may as well get some on here, pop some primer or something. Things are moving quick, so we'll have to wait and see how much time I've got. So I'll give you another update when I'm doing some other bits and bobs. There's, like I said, there's not much for me to do on here at the moment other than find and locate these bolts, so I'm going to crack on and do that. And uh, yeah, see you soon, guys. Bye. Right, here's another part of what I'm doing guys, I've, uh, I've just spilled the tank out um, Got it all, all the bits of crap from outside, from the inside of it out quite, There was quite a bit of stuff in there and I feel I'll be doing it a couple more times yet I've been using some old petrol and putting it back in an old barrel But I've been getting lots of flakes and stuff out of there as well So the rattles are getting less and less So I'll just keep doing it until there's hardly any rattles or nothing at all And then when I put it back in the car it should settle down So why i've got the tank out as you can see there's a bit of surface rust here and there on it uh, other than that though it's pretty good condition so i'm going to give it some of this uh, rust converter for all the treatment of rust on metal surfaces so this is uh this is quite good stuff you know it's i think this bottle here was about 20 quid got, goes quite a long way you know so you just give it a good shake and away you pop so you don't really I'll, I'll give it a second, I'll get some in my tub here and I'll start painting some on so you can have a look and then I'll show you the end product at the end of it as well. Alright, peace out. Right guys, it's just starting to drip a little bit with rain but can you see, so you get some of this on here, I've shook it all up and we just go straight on to, I'm not even going to bother wire and brushing it because it converts it. So I'm just going to make sure I get it on nice and even. Should go quite a long way, I believe. I've got to be quick because it's starting to rain as well, so I'll have to take this inside shot. This is why I'm only doing just the top bit now, just to get some on, so I can show you what I'm on with. In case there's any in there as well in them little gaps and the idea we're doing this is so uh, it gives me a nice uh, converted rust service this <laughs> and I'm just gonna paint it with some black metal paint and bring it all back up looking nice there's some stuff I can be doing whilst I'm waiting for bits feels like the rain stopped a little bit no it's still spitting so this is the process guys you can see what i'm doing i'm just smashing this rust converter onto the rust and it'll convert it for me nicely so. it's a bit of loads of mixed up videos just smashed in together this as i do it because obviously different time zones different things when stuff's happening so uh, i'm doing just a few hours a day i don't want to get overwhelmed by the project so just doing small bits in increment really and it's and documenting it so it keeps me busy get in there get, get it worked in that's nice uh, So even if there's rust there or not, I'm just going straight over the top of it. And that's, it just classes as an undercoat, you know, it's quite expensive undercoat, but as you see, it does go quite a long way. But 
it's sort of it's eased off a bit spitting now yeah so so that's the basic gist of it guys you see it's gone blue now it's converting so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get some more in there and get it done before it starts absolutely chucking it down there's the clouds look so let's get on with it eh right next update for you guys um <clears throat> so as of yesterday i'd obviously done the the rust treatment uh, rust converting on this tank um and now i'm in the process of painting it with uh, black metal paint as you can see I've just got a little bit left to do so I thought I'd share this with you as we're doing it there's people looking in my shop right, let's go so I'm undecided yet whether to do a second coat on this or not first coat on the other side is looking really good and I'll show you I'll show you when it's done of course sorry for the shoddy camera work guys I'm one-handed nice painting Just, this is one of the jobs then that can be checked off the list I've got some parts being delivered today so um, I don't really want to be in my garage and miss my deliveries so, it's stuff I need to be progressing on with so I can get the motor running I'll take the body off painting skills guys bit of a dint now alright right guys so uh, is that done uh, another job I've got today we'll be doing I'll show you later but my via my boot lid has got corrosion on the inside lips uh, all the way around on the inside so I'm going to attack that with a drill with a wire brush on and give it the same treatment which is rust converter and uh, I don't think I'll hit it with the black paint though no, I think I've got some green coming at some point so I'll use that as long as I convert it though it'll be fine for now right do anyway, it guys till the next update so hi guys welcome there's my dog there look <laughs> so uh, just to give you a bit of an update really so I'm trying to catch up from where the last time um, I was doing some stuff on the car so as you can see I have got the petrol tank all rust treated and painted now so this is all this is all done and looking nice and sorted so i've just got to do another quick flush on it because there's a few little things rattling around and it's inside, inside it still so not as many as there was um what else have i done so i've started stripping down my um le mans style front end and took off the hold on, i took off i took off these the covers give them a wash there was a lot of moss and stuff and cobwebs that had ingressed in here so I managed to clean them all them out and get them sorted and you can see them both sides made sure clean the headlights and things like that uh, but I need to be doing this I need to be spinning it around it, um, I wonder if I can show you right, so can you see there so all the paint in here needs to be scraped off so that's another another job for me to be doing whilst I'm waiting for delivery still so um but yeah that's all good to go um my boot now i have it had quite a lot of rust on the in, on the inside of it all around the uh, can you can you see in here so i've ground it all down and took all the loose flake off and stuff like that give it a good wire brush with the drill and that's now been rust treated rust converted so um, my plan is in the future to actually go to a fiberglass boot and just reuse my frame, my badges and my handle and so I don't have to worry about corrosion then and then I'll most probably resell this on as a treated usable part for somebody else who wants a mark free bonnet and I can claw some money back. I'll be doing the same with the doors as well, I found a place on uh, online. Let me just flip this round so you can see me, one minute. Right guys, I'm back again soon, now you can see me, look, we, um, so I found a place online that's, actually was this, they made the, the they do the, I can't speak, the fiberglass Le Mans style bonnet as well there, so they're still the same price of £420, so this is in really good condition, so I'm quite happy with that, and there's the one with the flared arches, and it's got the extra, the, the light covers as well, so it makes it a little bit, uh, it's more special than just the standard sort of Le Mans one, um, so I found a place for 
fiberglass boot. They do fiberglass doors as well, which are like a complete thing. So they'll take all the gubbins, the handles, the, the wind, window winder, the window, the door, door handle, everything like that. So they're a direct replacement. So they'll be something I'll be doing in the future as well. Um, but it's not important at the moment. So I'm progressing on with to the point where I need a lift now. I need somebody else to be on the other side of these bolts so I can get the tub off and I need to be taking the wiring out as well. Um, I'm not gonna bother now. From the last video you see I got combustion so I'm just gonna crack on and get the body to come off. I was gonna try and get it get it running but I've been waiting for these spark plugs to be coming for ages and I don't know where they are. And I mean, I'm in a lot of difficulties with deliveries anyway at the moment. I waited in all day yesterday for delivery. He came and said I signed for it and I hadn't, so I'm now waiting again to meet him to see what, where he's delivered my parcel to. And it's 32 kilos, so it's not a light thing. Um, so, other news I could bring you up to date with. So, before I actually, oops, covering that up, before I, before I um, sign off and make this video, I have an announcement to make. I've got a, a firm on board, I managed, where I bought all the body panels from. Um, I asked them to see if they'd be interested to, to come on board and be like a, a part, part of the channel for a bit and so and in return you know they, they're going to get some nice social media um, public publicity from it from the Facebook group which is Historic Custom Cars and also a couple of YouTube channels which this will be going on so the, the company is called the Rimmer Brothers and it's rimmerbrothers.com and they basically what they do is they do everything for the English classic car industry so you've got MG parts, Rover parts, uh, Land Rover, Range Rover, Jaguar, Triumph, all of the ones and stuff like that so if you need anything for your car like I, like I have you know I needed a complete new floor so I've had to order uh, as you can tell, two new floors, two sets of sills, inner, outer, and strengthening end, end caps, the boot floor, the rear boot balance, the rear uh, inner, inner, rear inner wing bottom quarter repair panels, the rear right hand side outer wing bottom wing repair panel. Um, so it came to quite a significant amount. So you know, I got, I got a little bit of a discount. They give me a promo code, which is spot on so this is why i'm giving it back in return so you should see the uh, the logo and all the information at the start of the videos but also in the bottom of the screen as well if i've got it correctly done <laughs> so love to hear your feedback guys on where i'm at at the moment if you've got any advice especially for me for what um the protocol is for taking this tub off um i'm, I'm playing it by by luck basically i got myself a haynes magnal and it just gave me the location of the bolts which is a, a bit of a start but I need things, help with advice with um, obviously the I've got to get the, the clutch slave off and all this sort of stuff. So if you've any uh, suggestions, if you've done it, or you have any uh, links you can send me to or a checklist, that'd be much appreciated, guys. So I'll catch you in the future, and uh, don't forget to check out RiverBrothers.com. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel, and um, just bringing you up to date where I'm on with it at the moment. Okay, so I have drained the clutch and the brake cylinders. I have removed the front I don't know if you see it in there front chassis bolt out of there I have removed cut the one off from inside in the footwell done the same on the other side but that bolt came out so both bolts came out on there not a problem uh, both bolts came out of the cross member no problems I'm just about to take the roof off as you can see so I can lift the roof off and then remove the speakers, the speaker board section and then I can have a look where the other back two bolts, are, four bolts are hiding and then we're almost ready to remove the tub and then I've just got to get inside and make sure that, so I'm going to take pictures of all this, make pictures of all my wiring, I'm going to label all my wiring up, remove it, all my wiring is growing with my tub so I'm disconnecting it from the engine side and Hopefully it should just all go as one because none of this needs any work. It's all on the inside um, Yeah, so that's where I'm up to at the moment. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll I'm gonna take the roof off and I'll give you um, An update once I've done that guys anyway right, Okay guys, so here's another update. So I have got the roof off. I have now got all the other bolts out uh, Let me show you where they were They were one there and one there on the other side and these bits here 
They took a bit of time, they were covered in uh, like a mastic, so it took me a bit of time to spot them and work out where they were, but I pinged them out and I found them out, so they've come out all right. So, that's all my chassis bolts off now, so this, in theory, <laughs> in theory, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'll have to have a look, There's something, but it's something else holding it on, but it should, in theory, actually want to start coming off now. Which should be fun. I maybe have to lower it down, put it on jack stands on bits of wood, and then lower the other one down off the chassis and see if it separates that way. But I've got other stuff to do yet. So the fuel line needs to come out. That comes out when you lift out. The wiring, like I said, is per is going to be staying in. I've got the steering column to remove, the brake pedal, accelerator, and clutch pedal to remove, handbrake cable to release and take off, uh, clutch line and cylinder uh, taken off and all these unclipped and freed off all the wiring labelled up or anything that's uh, tagged back to the into the loom itself um, I'm just hoping there's a lot of it's going to be plugged up and joined so you know, as, as you can see down in here it's into the loom here there we go so it follows down here so there's things like this, so I'm hoping these will just, there you can see, things that, I'm hoping there's gonna be stuff that just disconnects and then I can literally just, all this will come off. Obviously I've got to take this hose off, move this hose over here, anything that's attached to the body itself. Um, the earth cables underneath, and then I put the roof back on. Close the doors, lock the doors, and then once I know it's all ready to rock and roll, this should be able to lift off then and go for welding with the guy. So, um, thanks to Rimmers, Rimmer Brothers. I've got all the panels there on the way to me this week, and it should be all good. I've spoken to uh, the guys who are going to be painting it as well, so, all good news, all good news. So once I've got this body off, I'll be then addressing the chassis and maybe looking into repainting and readdressing all these. Um, I've got heat proof paint as well coming to do the inside of my fiberglass bonnet and everything like that. So I'm at the moment where I'm sort of at an impasse really now. Um, well, I could do more, but I've been at it for a good few hours. So I'm going to go and chill, leave it for another day. Um, have a ponder about it and then start getting ready to disconnect the wiring and the lines and stuff like that all right guys peace out i'm gonna go and edit the video so hopefully this all goes on and like i said massive thanks out massive thanks and shout out to um the guys who've come on board from my channel which is the rimmerbrothers.com for all your classic british car motoring needs and parts i get on